Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an organization chart in PowerPoint. In case you haven't watched my previous video on organization chart, which is really doing great and many people are getting benefited, make sure you check into the i button on the top right corner. So let's not wait anymore and start the tutorial right away. So here on the screen, you can see a very neat and clean organization chart in just made in PowerPoint. So how can you create these kind of charts effectively and how to color them, how the background is set. I'm just going to tell you all the various aspects which is going to be helpful for you in future. With this tutorial, I just don't want you to follow up the same thing which I'm doing, but I want you people to take away what is the way that you have to think while you are designing any organization chart. So this is the one and the second chart is something like this. So in case you have another level of hierarchy in the organization, you can you can add that as well. So this theme will be, uh, I'll keep it uh, available to download. So you don't have to worry in case you don't want to follow up, but I would always suggest to follow up. So the first part that I'm going to cover for this tutorial is to how to prepare your images. First and the foremost thing that you have to do is you have to bring the, all the images into a square size and of similar dimensions. You can see these, these images are 5 cm by 5 cm. This all these images with the square ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a, a random picture over here. So let me take any stock image. Okay. So let us while loading. Okay. So let's say, uh, let's say this is the picture. Okay. I'll just click insert. Okay, now you will be having pictures like this. Now, first thing you have what you have to do, as I mentioned, you have to bring them to similar size. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to click crop, crop to shape, and I'm going to change the rectangle shape. Uh, expect ratio, just make it one ratio one, so it will bring it to square. Now you can see it's a square. Now you can adjust the picture wherever you want the content to be. So I will adjust accordingly, and now I'll click crop. Okay, now. It is square but not as per our required size so you can just bring down it to five four whatever you wish to make it so this way this was so this was the first step you have to do whether you have 15 photos or 10 photos or anything like that you have to bring all the images to same size with the square ratio okay so now let's start designing this so this is a blank sheet okay in case you don't know you have to just right click and you have to click insert slide and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take first picture. Let's say this is the guy. Okay. Control X or maybe I'll just do control C uh, just to copy it and uh, paste it. Keep it somewhere in the center over here. Maybe we could leave some space on the top to add a title. So let's say our organization. good color typo let's we'll go with uh, which one i'm using here poppins that's a really cool font available to download for free on google fonts so i'll go with poppins and maybe poppins black okay it's more intense font i'll increase the size a bit make the center align and again bring it to the center like this i can maybe bring it down maybe reduce the size to somewhere around 3.5 this, this seems reasonable coloring you can see i have done uh, there is a gradient in this okay so where you can find that option you can just come down here right click format shape you can see the second option here in the top is text options under the text so I'll just remove these two stops and uh, I'll come to the first one and give it a maybe a green color and give this a 45 degree angle so it looks good. The issue okay and this seems to be a little reasonable for me okay so it's it's up to you you can you can choose whatever you want but this is a way you can create a gradient. So moving next 
what I have done in this particular graph is something of that sort. So what actually I have done is the blue color it indicates the executive director level. The same sales team is indicated by the green color and the technical team is once again indicated by blue but it can be in either color of your choice. Giving a different color gives you a different uh, perspective of thinking, right? Means green indicates sales, blue indicates uh, technical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rectangle of this dimension, okay? And I'm just keep, I'm going to keep it aside like that. And maybe with say you'll give us 0.2, okay? And we'll give this color with no outline, okay? So let's say this goes to our highest level or at least to save time control V and I'll bring it here now I just usually make sure that this particular text color should match this rectangle so it's just like in adding a theme to your design okay now this seems to be good now you can press everything here and press Ctrl G and now if you're unable to do maybe you can try out with control align option and center fine so this is done now what I'm going to do is I'll just quickly uh, uh, duplicate this photo because we have to as we go down in hierarchy we have more and more photos so what I'm going to do is I'll just click this photo and uh, 2.5 and the height of this as well to be 2.5 okay just select these and reduce the font size make sure you select all the three and uh, reduce the font size uh, okay and reduce this A little bit to adjust. I just wanted to this text to at least come in the third line or the fourth line. Yeah, seems reasonable. And then just I'm going to do is I just ungroup this and uh, let's say this girl and then just delete that. Control V. You remember last size what we did is 2.5. Okay, and I'll just bring it away great okay select this and zoom in so now what I'm gonna let's go with shape fill let's say we'll go with this green and I will just change the color of this as well okay change the now maybe you can play around with that Okay. So this is the way I work usually. So when I, once my design is fixed, I'll just go and keep changing that like this. Okay. Now here you can see we have so several faces over here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'll just bring the text down. Okay. So what we used to is we'll select all these three, and bring down here. Now, this, maybe let's say in, in this division 3, and maybe the next division will take another 3. I'm going to rework a little bit. So, what we can do is we can just narrow it down. Okay, so I'm going to do I'm just delete everything, reduce the box a little bit over here. Okay, now it seems reasonable. So this is second, third, and I'm going to select everything back again. And it's only three. Okay, so maybe so it's still readable. Okay, so this is the way it works. And then you have to just change the photos. So let me just quickly do that for you. So we are done with the formatting and now it's time to
connect the connections okay so we have to build now so before that just quickly what i'm going to do is uh, just check everything is in order and i'm just going to do change these colors okay but this is these three belong from different team so let's give them an orange and i'm just going to change the name as well so orange so now you can see they are visually separate now it's time to connect them so what i use is i'll just come down to the recently it's coming in decent shape but maybe you can find that in lines and this one okay uh, this one the fifth one elbow arrow now what i'm going to do is just going to connect this with this picture and for one i will just give it a black color or maybe slightly i don't want it to be too highlighted so i'll just go with the 50 percent lighter with slightly higher thickness somewhere around two and a quarter point it looks seems reasonable i think this still visible too much so i'll just go with this color okay so i'll just create some duplicates so what i'm doing is just i'm pressing control and duplicating these lines okay so now i'll just select anyone and i just bring it to this and again this one to the same point similar way this to here and the other end of this where it is over here to same again here similar way i'll do for the rest so here and of course here right great nice and okay let's go so i'll just tell you to extra so you can see now we are done so with this you can see we are quite a bit done with the overall organization chart how it looks like so we can also now look forward to animate this organization chart so what we can do is first let's add a background that looks good right doesn't play doesn't uh, the simple uh, white background doesn't seem good so gradient and you can see i'm using the same gradient uh, the colors is like this light color and this light color maybe you can play around if you wish okay something of bluish okay and here i can go with green okay so now you can see the design looks quite neat and clean maybe you can just change the name i'm just saving time over here in a similar way if you want to add below people like another level of people you can just add that as well so now it's time to animate this so maybe what i can do is just select the first the shri narayan name in green color and i just come to animate and maybe i can go with fade okay next what i can do is i can select the line which comes to uh, this girl over here and i just can click to wipe okay and wipe animation i'll bring it to from top okay this seems good and then i can just bring this so fade so similar way you have to follow for the rest first take the line give it a wipe wipe from top and then select the group okay i want the entire group to come so that's great so we added one animation here now next here so i'll just go fast forward here so to save time so wipe from top this one fade you can just turn off uh, uh, auto preview okay from top and this is fade this one from wipe from top and then fade Again, this one wipe from top and fade okay so now you can see our organization Shri Narayan is executive director so now you can present it like this Shri Narayan from there we have this girl then we have this guy then this person then this guy this guy and this guy or maybe if you want to automate everything everything should uh, should work its own select everything other than the first one and just click after previous and just reduce the duration a bit so 25 seems reasonable so now what happens as well you click one 
it just animates the rest okay so that's all for this video i hope you like the tutorial and if you have any comment any doubt please let me know through the comment box i will definitely try to answer those if not um, maybe you can think of hitting the like button and share it with your fellow mates and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you